Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I don't know if it has a proper name but I'm calling it a flip front window card. Okay, it stands up like all cards. Okay, so I'm going to change my colour scheme and it's instead of that one's tranquil tide and I'm going to be using Knight of Navy. So I'm going to tell you the card pieces that you'll need. A piece of Knight of Navy which measures four and a quarter inches by five and three quarter inches, which is ten point eight by fourteen point six centimeters. A piece of very vanilla which measures three and seven eighths inches by five and three quarter inches, which is nine point nine by fourteen point six centimeters. A piece of crumb cake which measures four inches by five and three quarter inches which is 10.2 by 14.6 centimeters. A piece of True Gentleman designer series paper which measures three and seven eighths inches by six and a quarter inches which is 9.9 .9 by 15.8 centimeters. And then a piece of crumb cake and a piece of Knight of Navy, both which measure three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches, which is approximately eight by eight centimetres. A piece of crumb cake, which is one and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches, which is 4.4 .4 by seven centimetres. And a piece of very vanilla, which is at least one and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches, which is 4.4 .4 by seven centimeters. Um, because I'm stamping on here and it's die cutting, um, I have allowed myself a bit more. The first part I'm going to do on this, because I, I can't quite get my head around um, a nice smooth way of doing it. Um, normally I say I'll do all the stamping first and then big shot and then put the card together. Um, but I think I might be up and down with the uh, big shot. So first of all, I'm going to do this piece here which means I need, um, I'm going to be using the Knight of Navy and the Crumb Cake. Is that right? No. Uh, crumb Cake and the Designer Series Paper, that's what I need. Right, so first of all on this one we need to score this and it's six and a quarter inches, but we need it to be the same length as this. So if your sizing isn't quite spot on, in fact, I can't see what I've done with my um, score tool, um, at least just make sure that this is the same length as that, and it should be five and three quarters. Yeah, that's spot on. That's good. <laughs> okay. So that's all you need to do with the scoring. You can use your trimmer if you want. I was going to, but I forgot to bring it over with me. Um, so that will just be folded up like that. Um, I'm going to adhere this onto here. And then once I've done that, I can put my circle in, cut that out and then I can work out where to do my stamping on that one. If I cut the circle out then I can work out where it's got to be. Right, so let's adhere this onto here. I'm using Tombow. You can use whichever glue you like. So glue everywhere but not on the actual flap. Let me get my silicon mat over. I was thinking about doing a little series of fancy fold cards, starting with this one, but I'm not sure that it fits the bill for a fancy fold. Um, but I'm calling it a fancy fold. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with card making. 
Right, so I'm going to adhere that onto there, and there should be a small gap. Right. Right, small gap on either side. But the bottom should be equal. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, my scoring's not brilliant. Look at that. So let me just use my bone folder. Now you can see a slight line there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I don't know why that happened because I measured it. You saw that. Um, right, so if I bring the big shot up, then we can do the circle. And as you can see on here, I did the little frame here. I also did one on the inside because I found that because my plates are very very marked uh, the back of here was marked as well so I did the extra one to um, cover it up if yours doesn't um, mark like mine does then you don't really need to do that right now dies for this one I am using my layering circles framelits and I am using number six, I think. Yeah, number six. So if you're new to my videos, um, whenever I'm talking numbers for dies, I always start counting from the smallest die. So that's number one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, smaller the die, smaller the number. So we're going to decide where we want this to go. And I'm going to do it up a little bit because I want to have the same gap there, there and there. Not forgetting that we're going to have the... Um, frame going around it and I don't want the frame coming down too low so that should be just about right now we are cutting through two levels which obviously didn't help with the bit about damaging the back part of this but these dies do go through two layers reasonably easily like that so let me just show you what I mean about the damage that this does on the back here. Can you see how it picked up all the scratches? So that's why I did the two to cover that up. And the pieces that we have for that are the Knight of Navy and the, this one. And the way that I did these was I put the number six in the middle there and then the scalloped one with my circles, I think it was number seven. Yes, I used number seven. So that's that one there. So I'm going to pop that like that. It just fits inside there nicely. Whatever you do, just make sure that um, you don't have them overlapping because it won't do them any good at all. Right. So that left that bit behind. Just take that out. And then we have the circle for back. And then we do one for the, uh, this one's going on the front. Again, make sure it's all nice and flat.
Right, what else do I need? I need the label, but I've got to stamp that first, so that's no good. So I'll have to put the big shot away then, come back to it. Okay, so that's the other one. Let's just pop those there. Right, so on the front I'm going to put this one and then on the back I'm going to put that one. So I'm going to be using Tombow for this. Again, you can use whichever um, glue you feel most comfortable with. And if when you're using Tombow, if you find that you squeeze too much out, just blot it onto a piece of scrap paper so the excess um, glue goes onto your scrap rather than oozing out onto your actual card. Now you'll see that there's a little groove there where the die was when it went through the big shot. So that helps you positioning that. It covers it up. Okay, so you've got that one, and then we're going to have this one on the inside. Make sure we put glue on the right side. funny that it looks like a different size, not fitting quite so well, which is silly, it can't be. I wonder if I can just push that to shape a bit. There, yeah, that's fine. It looks a lot better if you look at it straight rather than what I was doing, looking at it at an angle. Right, okay, so that's fine. Now what we're going to be doing is, this is the piece that's going to be fitting underneath at the back there, okay, so all of these bases need to be in the same position. So once I've done that, make sure that it's in the centre at the back, you will see, it's like that's not a mistake, that's me getting ready for something. Um, Okay, so I've got my edges down there all lined up. It's more or less lining up with the edges here. Okay, so keep that like that. Turn it over. Yep, yeah, actually that's right, isn't it? And I just do four lines on the inside of the circle and that tells me where to stamp. As I say, I've already done this piece, but I will show you on the reverse side how I actually did it. It was quite time consuming doing all of that, so I thought if I did um, did it beforehand, I could show you just a little bit during the video. Okay, so I'm using, this is also from, this is a stamp set. Um, I haven't already told you about this because this is the second take. Um, Epic Celebrations is one of the um, stamp sets you can have free uh, if you place an order that is 60 euros or 45 pounds um, it, because we're going through celebration we've got several different stamp sets we've got ribbons we've got designer series papers all sorts of things that you could choose as free gifts for 45 pounds order um, there are also some 90 pound gifts as well um, if you live in the Stamping Up European market and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, if you'd like to see the, these catalogues, I'd be more than happy to pop them in the post 
to you, um, just email me at jambi at jambicards.com. Rona, what I did on here, because I don't want this too dark, I inked and then I stamped off twice. I just did it very, very randomly. Sometimes, as you can see, it came up a bit darker. Depends on the amount of pressure I did putting it down there. Sometimes even probably forgetting to do it twice. But there we go. Um, I think by the time I stamp the headphones, and I've coloured the headphones, I think it'll cover up anything that gets shown through here. Um, this, there is no right or wrong which direction it goes, so I'm doing this without my stamp -a -majig. Night of Navy ink, and I'm just going to get it as much in the centre there as I can. I'm doing it at, at an angle. There we go. Um, the um, outline of the guitar, the sneakers and the headphones is like sketches, so you've got the lines on the outside and also with the words, the awesome and the epic, when you stamp those um, there's little gaps in it because there are gaps on the stamp. Don't think that it's your stamping that's gone wrong. Um, it is the actual stamp. It's the way um, it has been designed. It's what I call um, a relaxed type of design. So just rub the um, pencil marks away. Now for the top, I'm going to use the sentiment. Um, here's to an epic celebration. Let me show you what I mean about having gaps in the stamping. You see on the big letters there. It's not poor stamping, it is the actual ink. Now on this one I have set up my stamp -a jig although I have to confess um, I did do one of these and um, it came up crooked even using a stamp -a jig oh, Sometimes there's just no hope for me. Right, so let me see. Now that looks really straight, maybe not in the middle, but let's try that. Yes, that looks straight. Thing is, you get a much better view when you're watching the video. Um, where's my... there it is. The amount of times I've been watching a video that I've made and I've been concerned that I've not got straight or something, but looking at it on the um, video, it's perfect. Not quite the same when you're looking at it at an angle. Now, does that look straight? I think so. <laughs> it's straight enough anyway. Right, now I'm going to colour my headphones in and I'm going to be using two marker pens. I'm using Night of Navy and Crumb Cake. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to be too fussy because as I have used um, ink here, it will smudge if I go over this too much. But there isn't too much to do with the crumb cake. Am I in camera? Yeah. Actually, I'll give you a close view of the other card that I did, the one with the sneakers in it. Um, because the white bits, I actually went over using um, my white gel pen. Because it's on vanilla, very vanilla cardstock, I thought I could get away with that. And I think I have. 
can't decide what else I need to do with the crumb cake there. Right, I think I'll do the blue and that will help me decide if there's any other bits that should be uh, crumb cake. I do like these two colours together, crumb cake and uh, light of navy. This is a bit, I think, that bit round there, maybe I'll do crumb cake. I'm not quite sure what is the equivalent bit on here though. That'd be that, wouldn't it? No, I'm going to play safe, do it all. Night of Navy. No, that centre bit I'm going to use, crumb cake. I used to be indecisive. But now I'm not so sure. Well, I'm not being too particular about this because it is a sketchy drawing. And I think that uh, not going for pe perfection with this does add to the character of the image. Let's just do some crumb cake in there and crumb cake in there I think that's okay yep I'm happy with that let me just show you close you may think it looks absolutely atrocious and prefer to do it so that it's uh, not got any gaps but that's fine for me so that is going to be looking like that as it comes through the card now I need to do the Your Awesome stamp which is using this one and I'm going to use Knight of Navy. Um, is that right? Because I'm going to have crumb cake around it aren't I? Mm. Well I'm just going to stick with this. I've done the one inside, Knight of Navy, so now this one's going to be die cut so it doesn't matter if I'm not straight, there we go. Um, so I need to get my big shot up again just to die cut this one. And I also need to die cut that as well for the shape. So the dies I'm using for this, for the actual sentiment, I'm using number two on our stitched shape framelits on the ovals. And I'm going to out layering ovals and I am using number three. That's it. Right, let's take one of these off. Let's turn that over because that's not actually touching the bottom. So that's for that one. Then that fits in absolutely beautifully. Look at that, spot on. Okay, so that's the stitched shape. 
and that's a scalloped shape. Keep those two safe, pop those two there and we can put the big shot away because I think now that is everything done we just have to put the card together. Right, so let's do these two pieces first. And this is another job for Tombow. Or whatever your preferred adhesive is. My tweezers. There we go, so that will be going on the front. Might as well do that one now. You could pop this up onto dimensionals if you wanted. I'm not go I'm not going to. I did think about it, but let me just hold this up so that I can be confident that I'm straight. Okay, so then that's going to be looking like that. Open up like that. That's good. Right, so we just need to put the rest of this together then. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to adhere the flap at the back of the very vanilla piece. So what we need to do there is if we line this up again so this is lining up with the edges here it's not terribly important if you don't have the same size gaps here because they're not actually being adhered together but just make sure that this does come to the bottom So I'm using Tombow Fast Fuse Tear and Tape would work and just adhere that down and then we adhere the Knight of Navy on there so we put our glue on this part and then we've got to pop it over here and position it. Does that look a tad short? I don't think so. I think it's because I'm just looking down on it. If you find that you are out, one of these isn't quite right, what I suggest you do is, if you tip it that way and make sure all of these are straight, then you could always cut a bit off the bottom there. In fact, that does look wrong, doesn't it? In fact, that's what I'm going to do because that definitely looks wrong there. But it's only going to be an absolute tad that I cut off. Can you see that? Yep, I think so. Okay. So let's put the glue on the back of this one and it's important that you make sure that you get glue right up into the corner of this one, these two corners here and it's just on the very vanilla piece that you're doing. So I want to make sure that it's at the top and I want to make sure that I've got equal gap there. Okay, so 
So that looks right. Just make sure that's straight there. And then off of camera I will cut that little bit off. Can you see that? I think you can, can't you? It's not much, but my guillotine will go through that. And at least I've got enough room there to do it, to have a slice off. It's not going to make any difference to the overall look of my card. And there we have it. Plenty of room to make write your own greeting. You could write it down here if you wanted, or up there, wherever. Or you could actually write it on there. If you wanted, you could do a um, fancy shape there, maybe one of these stitched ovals or something, um, so you can write your greeting on it. Lots of options with that, but it will stand up. All right, so there we go. Nice, easy project for today. Um, just It wasn't straightforward as in doing all the stamping first and then die cutting and then putting it together, um, but I survived, done it. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and I really hope you give it a try. Um, it is something nice and different. If you want to um, get one of these uh, free, what you could do is you could actually buy this set. Um, this um, The designer series paper is from the True Gentleman. Uh, designer series it's what are we calling it true gentleman suite and you could buy the bundle which is this stamp set and it comes with that um, punch and that punch also fits other sentiments which is absolutely brilliant and it because it's a nice easy one to line underneath um, cutting the pieces if you want to know how I did that one um, the details are all on my blog um, but yes, you would get that and that. If you went for the clear amount, it would be £30.50 pence, or £41.25. Euros. And then if you got the designer series paper with it, which is another £10, so that's £40.50, and you could just get those two um, marker pens. Normally with our marker pens, you have to buy complete sets, um, but that's an easy way of doing it. Um, eventually... I imagine they'll do all the colours. But there you go. If you bought those pieces that I've suggested, you could choose that as um, your free gift, which means you'd have lots of uh, stamps and everything to make guy uh, cards. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the box below. I'm always happy to read um, what you write and I'm always happy to answer your questions. If you'd like to purchase any of the products I featured here today, the link to my 24-7 shop will be in the box below. Um, for all my online customers during January, um, I am running a prize draw lucky winner will win a stamping up big shot machine um, so that's well worth looking into and if um, you have enjoyed my video and you'd like to be notified each time I upload a new one please subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button and finally also in the box below I will put all the measurements and the products that I've used um, so you've got everything. It'll be a one-stop shop for you. Many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.